CARB has created an interactive web-based mapping tool that displays the locations of large facilities in California and their greenhouse gas, criteria, and toxic pollutant emissions. This online tool allows users to find air pollution sources in their community, quantify their emissions, and chart the emission trends over time. Let's start by taking a look at the main user interface, which consists of three panels, a control panel, a display panel, and a facility list panel. The control panel allows users to search facilities by facility name, street address, geographic region, legislative district, or any of many other attributes. It also lets users select the pollutants and the years for which data will be displayed. The display panel shows the locations of the facilities on a map and users are able to pan and zoom the map. Facilities are color-coded based on their primary sector. The right side bar displays a list of facilities along with their emissions that correspond to the filters selected in the search menu. Now, let's take a look at the information the tool can provide. Using the tool search feature, we'll look for the Phillips 66 refinery in Wilmington. Notice that the list of facilities has shortened to include only those with Phillips 66 in their name. Clicking on the facility name in this list shows the facility's location on the map and opens an information window. This window can also be opened by clicking directly on any facility marker on the map. Notice that the window has six tabs. The first tab shows basic information about the facility. The emissions tab shows a table of the greenhouse gas criteria and toxic pollutant emissions reported in the most current inventory year. The GHG trend and criteria trend tabs show the trend of the facility's emissions over time, along with a table of the emissions reported for each year. The toxics tab presents a summary of emissions for eight pollutants that are representative of substances commonly emitted in higher volumes or those with the potential for significant health impacts. Lastly, the Compare tab allows users to plot greenhouse gas, criteria, and toxic pollutant trends on the same chart. Now, let's take a look at two very useful features of the tool. First, Cal Enviroscreen map layers are available to help users locate facilities within the context of California's disadvantaged communities. Users can choose to display all census tracts in the state or only those in Cal Enviroscreen's top 25th percentile. On this map layer, dark red indicates a community that is heavily impacted by pollution or poor socioeconomic conditions, while dark green indicates a community that is not substantially affected by these factors. Next, the shape options in the tool allow users to select several facilities at once using a circle, a rectangle, or a polygon. A person living in a community can use this feature to assess the cumulative emissions from facilities near them. Using the Rectangle tool, users can draw a perimeter around a census tract or other area of interest. When users click in the shaded area, the tool opens a pop-up window displaying geographic information about the area and the number of facilities in it. Other tabs display a list of the facilities in the selected area their aggregated emissions, the GHG, criteria, and toxic pollutant emission trends, and a chart that allows trend comparisons across programs. This concludes our brief demonstration of the pollution mapping tool. In order to continue to meet our AB 197 requirements, we plan to annually update the tool with the most recent emissions data each spring.